Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's educational videos. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a contact sheet using Adobe Bridge CS5. The first thing we're going to want to do is rename all of our files. We're going to select all of the files here in the content window. There are a couple ways that we can do that. Holding the shift key allows us to select a range. So if I select the first photo, click the shift key on the keyboard, and then click the last photo, I can select all of the images in between those two photos. If I want to make a selection of just a few photos that are not in order, I can hold the command key and then single click on images and it'll allow us to select all of the images that we click on. Alternatively, if we wanted to select all of the images using the shift key like so, we could command click to unselect a single or multiple images. The best thing to do though, typically, because we're going to be making contact sheets from all the pictures that we take, is just to use the, the shortcut Command A or select all. Command A will select all of the images in a folder. First, we want to rename the images. So we're going to go up here to Tools and go to Batch Rename. You can see the shortcut key is Shift Command R. You can also see that I've already done this. So here is what we want to do to batch rename. We want to rename all of our images with our last name, underscore, first name, underscore, period underscore, the assignment, and then typically that would be the end of it, but for now what we're going to do is actually add an extra underscore at the end of that, and then add a sequence number to the next one over here. If you have more of these, what you can do is just hit the little minus button over there to subtract them, and we're going to start with number one. So here you can see, because we've already done this, it's the same thing. But if we were to change anything here, let's change this to period 8, for example, that was period 7, and then this new one will become period 8. Click Rename, and it renames all of them very quickly. Next, we're going to go over here to Output, and we're going to create our contact sheet using the Output menu right up here in the upper right-hand corner. There's a lot of settings, so let's go through them one at a time. First, we're going to choose PDF up here. Don't worry about what the template is. Uh, you can click anything up here because we're going to end up doing some custom stuff down here. I'm going to have to go to the top here. And here we are, page preset. We're going to choose U.S. paper, and we want to make sure that we've got letter selected. We want that to be 8.5 by 11 inches. So if we do ever print this, we can print it on regular paper really easily. We're going to change the quality from 300 to 150 pixels per inch, and then we're just going to drag this slider down to about 50. The background should be white, and we don't need any password or permissions. All right, that's the document. Let's go on to the layout. So the layout we want to select across first by row. That's going to be the default, and we want four columns and five rows. These margins can be fine. We're not too worried about that. Click Auto Spacing, Rotate for Best Fit, and we don't want to repeat one photo per page. So four columns, five rows, and click these two. Scrolling down now to Overlays. We do want the file name. We've renamed our files, so we want to include that. And we also want to include the extension, which is this .jpg. The font, Arial, regular, 10-point black defaults are fine. Let's go ahead and add a page number and place it on the footer. The footer section is disabled. Do you want to enable? Yes. So all of these defaults are fine, and we're moving on to the header now. Let's add a header. Click Add Header. We can put it anywhere. It doesn't really matter. All we want to do is have our full name right here on the header. The rest of it is fine, the default text. Going down to the footer, now we added the page number. So down here, the footer, it's going to automatically add the footer once we add the page number. Scrolling down now to playback. There's nothing that we need to check here, so we want to make sure these three are unchecked. And then uncheck add watermark, uncheck view PDF. We can click save, and that's it. What we want to do is make sure that we end up in the same place. So in this case, we're in the POV folder here. Save as, everything we save, last, underscore, first, underscore, period, underscore, assignment, and then we can add here maybe a dash and contact sheet. Click Save. 
And it's going to take a little while if you have more than four photos. We've got four photos. It says contact sheet process, PDF generated successfully. And we can see right here in Bridge, there it is. Full name, page number, all of the photos. And if you've got more, they'll spread out down on the bottom of the page there.